What what is, what is the language of of unconfidence? Is that language? Is there such a thing as a language game of not being confident? And and is your is your conviction into Catholicism and and your standing, your defending it, not uh, just showing once again your positioning? Uh, you've simply decided to sit within Catholicism and, and make defense of Catholicism. The polarities that happen, see this is a circumlocution around and about. I use the metaphor of toolbox because that's a Wittgensteinian phrase. But I also like to use the phrase of gravities. Um, Derrida will speak of the uh, gravity of a situation generating a polarity such that that if you spin a basketball on your hand, the polarity is from the top of the spin to the bottom. But if you use a different metaphor and you speak of a, a molecule um, where it does not generate a polarity in that same, that same perspective, but that the polarity is said to be the protons are positive charges and the electrons are negative charges. And so it goes from inward to outward. And so once again, you're, you're simply reiterating a confidence, a, a ground. And th this is no different than the atheist uh, taking the, sitting within the pragmatic, reasonable toolbox and seeing their world outward. So I'm not really certain how it is you maintain your confidence knowing what it is you know, except for to say that you have not considered what it means to be um, unconfident to live within the language of um, of unsurety, if you will, and being a real religion. Well, this this is this is once again a circumlocution of population adhering to a particular type of language game, and they're reiterating this, and this is no different than any other group population of reiteration. So these are simply populations that are doing this, and you just happen to be within this population denoting the tenets. But think of the individuals who are no longer Catholic for some or whatever reason. Um, it, perhaps if you interviewed them or you were to consider what it is their perspectives were upon this transition out of Catholicism, you might find yourself within another language game, within a type of empathy. And uh, I don't see that. I don't see that within you. And, and so you're against transposition, and then at the end of your video, you'll go on to say an if-then statement. Uh, well, they cannot say it because they're on the outside, but then you'll go ahead and apply reason. Uh, once again, you'll trans transpose a reasonable, then you'll transpose a reasonable uh, argument onto Catholicism again. And once again, this just shows your, um, your adherence. All you're doing is echoing your adherence to that particular language game. And, and so uh, they, anyone can say that it's false, and, and if they're of a population that says, yeah, we, we see this as false, and they're not Catholic, then you will not necessarily say that they're incorrect. And so you're trying to say, <laughs> which is kind of funny, like, like somehow satisfaction. Then again, you'll bring in the language of satisfaction. And so I'll do this by saying, well, what does it mean to be satisfied? What does it mean when we speak of being satisfied? And this comes once again right down to taste. You've found a way in which you are comfortable uh, grounding yourself, and within this grounding, you are on a ship, uh, a religious ship, if you will, navigating through your life. And, and granted, I, I share a, a lot of dispositions with you, and I share a, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, ideas uh, with you, I would say, and, and, and I, don't, I don't think that you're inarticulate. It's just that, that upon finding this ground within this particular uh, angle, this particular perspective, uh, once again, this, this just shows that you would like to maintain the bows of your ship instead of uh, swimming in the seas and not having a direction. So, such that one uh, does not want to give up on their life falling into nihilism, uh, ill direction, misdirection, uh, you are comfortably uh, founded and you appear to be sound.
uh, so sound, in fact, that that you will you will uh, ache outward. You will uh, function as as uh, an obscene antagonist, uh, kind of a, a high-minded, uh, bring in the Ivy League uh, scat and and cast it out for those who who uh, whose expression, whose form of life uh, differs. And so, by the very by the very fact of feeling surrounded, perhaps by these other these other other navigating ships, uh, these ships that are built uh, of a different uh, a different substance, uh, a different uh, analogy, a different perspective, uh, you you want to defend your ship the very best you can. So your videos are functioning as as cannonballs, um, and and where where I would say I, I my videos. Not to give myself any uh, any any points or anything, are it's it's simply to uh, a continu uh, a continual uh, uh, oh god how to put it um, a continual uh, change or reperspective uh, a continual uh, war against those who are maintaining the bounds of their ships. Uh, perhaps it comes from having a, a background in swimming where the water is is comfortable but but so often tiring and and so I'll say that you were just tired of being mad just so tired of it and that you found uh, some solace uh, in the first ship that that picked you up and wiped you off and cleaned your ass and 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 that now you want to show everybody that you know how to shit and 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 that that you're okay with with throwing your toilet paper overboard uh, atop of the swimmers but but you forget so quickly that that you once swam in in the mad mind and 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 you don't want to give that anymore oh no no don't want to go there anymore because that's scary oh that is oh so scary so so clarity and and systemic reasoning and systemic like you say uh, the maintenance of categories is oh so important to you, and then and then other people's blind spots you want to bring into focus, as to turn the ocular cavity so that that blind spot uh, that was not seen is now seen, and um, I, I think that's that's fine, but but what you're also doing is you're asking individuals because of your maintenance of Catholicism to maintain their focal point in in one particular area don't move it over here and don't move it over there because you've already you've already seen the blind spot so you think you've got it all covered but this this also uh is is just i mean it's it's an echo of arrogance and and who uh has not uh played within uh uh and and has a a knowledge of what it means to speak uh, arrogantly about things I, my style is to ramble and to and to allude or make allusions uh, to the structure and non-structures and, uh, and and keep uh, a consistent spin uh, going on um, because because all these structures uh, yield it would seem the the same thing a, a type of formula and uh, Mike you are um, you're anti-sympathetic to me. Uh, from my point of view, because because you are uh, you're 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 the product of, of a formula. Um, you're simply simply trying to focus, make certain that the gravity of attention is uh, polarized, and so that you're creating the central ground you within your Catholicism relative to the polarization of those who are aspect blind to the Catholic theo uh, theological approach. And so it is in that where I think that you're, you are forgetting the language of transition, the language of conversion. You're forgetting what it takes to maintain one, one category of facts and to say, I am Catholic also because of these facts, whatever it is you want to take on, you can formulate that ground. Now your maintenance and your relationship with another population of other minds that you also take faith in, or what you say is to take faith in them. Think about the transition of what it is to have faith in other minds and then to lose that faith 
in other minds. You also refer to uh, atheists uh, having a, a category mistake uh, around 620 and, and they're superimposing it. Now, now uh, bricolage uh, or to collage is something that uh, is uh, a philosophy that has, has gone on uh, post Wittgenstein uh, to present. Meaning that now we do, we, we are able to speak about what it means to collage and or to superimpose if, if you must use those types of, of words. 